looks now at the original announcers for the league, Gino Oriema and a young Robin Roberts, setting history as the first official voice of the WNBA. They saw it all, the early days, the, the Houston Comet, all of that history, and they are joining us now here. Young Robin Roberts back then, like now. Young Bird. Young Bird. Thank Robert. you. And a young girl, Gino Oriema. <laughs> 24 years ago, they were the original voice. I was actually your stage manager on some of those games. So 24 years, I worked my way up to be sitting here with you. I'm so excited. First and foremost, that was a seminal moment to start the league all those years ago. What were some of your early thoughts on, is this going to work? Can this be impactful? As we're now in year 22, and thinking about it back then in 1997 when it launched, remember it was orange and white on Monday night. That's when they would play. And to, to look around Holly and to see a packed arena like this and, and, and the enthusiasm, and you weren't sure back then uh, whether you would see it or not, but there was, let's not, there was talent back then. Uh, the big three in Houston at the time, and, but now you just have uh, more depth. You have more talented players. We had talented players back then, but even more so now. Coach Oriyama, you, you saw that talent back then, but how do you describe the, the evolution of the actual game that the women are playing at this level? I feel like the basketball's never been better, but what do you think from your basketball perspective? Well, I know there were times when Robin and I had to come up with creative ways to describe some of the things that we saw because we were trying to bring the game to a lot of people that had never seen the game. Now people are used to seeing good women's basketball. So you don't have to make up anything. What you're watching today is really, really good basketball. That's two really good teams out here playing at a real high level. And like Robin said, there were some good players in the league back then. There's just that many more now. Every team has really, really good players. It's hard to even make a roster in this league. So that's how far the game has come and, and how far the fans have come in their knowledge of the game. And the commentators are much better now. Way, way, way better. better than they were. Way, way oh, better, God. way better. The Hall of Famer Rebecca Lobo, Ryan Rucco, of course. Um, tell me a little bit about, we're seeing a high level today, Elena Deladon fighting through some things, but coach, she becomes the first woman in history to be a 40, 50, 90 club member. You coach her on the Olympic team. What have you seen Elena, Elena do in her growth? Well, you know, Elena's always been able to score. You know, that's her big thing. You know, she's always been skilled. She's always been able to be versatile and play anywhere on the floor. And when I coached her, it was like, okay, well, we know you can do that. But on this team, so can everybody else. So you're going to have to also start doing some other things. And each year that I watch her in the league, she's added something to her game. And that's a sign of a true, a true professional, is that even though you're MVP, you're not quite satisfied, and you add more to your game. And that says a lot about her. And that's what's so great about this level, because before, you know, there was nowhere for them to, to show this kind of talent. But they were great in college, you know that. But like you see in the NBA, it's no different. And so for them to have an arena, literally an arena, to show their advanced skills. Um, these are true professional ball players out here that we're witnessing right now, that we're seeing. It, it really is. So tell me the first half thoughts. What did you think about what you saw from Connecticut and how they've got to get back in this? Oh, goodness. The way that they were able to cut into the lead like that and not get to not to get rattled. And I think at the, at the beginning, they weren't sure if, if Del Dom was going to be able to play. And then she is out there. And, but they, their, their shooting percentage was just off the charts. And I thought that Connecticut just, you know, bided its time, got a little bit of those defensive stops, and it was just incredible how they were able to cut that lead at the half. That was huge that they were able to cut it. Elena's not going to play the whole 20 minutes. So during those moments when she's not in the game, the Sun really has to take advantage of that to withstand that when she is in the game, they just don't have anybody that can handle her. Hall of Fame analysis. Well, thank you so much. It is a memory, a walk down memory. Lane, thank you for being here and celebrating this wonderful league. We appreciate it. This presentation.